Hey guys, Persistent Programmer here and welcome back to my channel. So in this channel, we solve a lot of algorithms and go over leak code questions. So if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, smash that like button because that helps me create this content for you guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and look at today's problem. We have the problem binary tree in order traversal. So first let's understand what does this mean? What does the word in order traversal mean? So in order traversal follows these three steps. So first what we need to do is look at the left and then we need to traverse to the node. So we need to print the node and then we need to look at the right. So this is the order that we need to follow um, in a given binary tree and then return all the values of the node. To solve this problem in an iterative way, we need two things. So we need a stack, um, which we are going to pop our values out of, and we also need um, the result list that we're going to return. So this is what is going to be returned. Um, and what is going to happen is we are going to start all the way here from the root and we are going to keep traversing to the leftmost node. So if I had to write the pseudocode, it would be something like this. Um, so let's say if root is not none, then we need to keep going to, we need to keep adding to the stack. So we'll, so this will give us the order that we need to access things from. Um, so we will say st.append this root. And we are also going to change this pointer to the left side because that is the priority because the step one is left. So we are going to keep navigating the root to the left. So to do this, we will just simply set the root to root dot left. So what's going to happen um, when it is all the way to the left and the root is none, then this if is no longer going to be applicable. So for example, um, let's go through one of the iterations so it's very clear. Um, so first of all, we have three here. And yeah, so there is something here in the root. And so what we want to do is we will append this three to our stack here. And then we will say root equals root dot left. Okay, so then we are here. Right, so this is three's left and this is three's right. So we are here at the left. Um, and then we are going to also put that value in our stack as per this statement here. Um, and then again, we'll try to go to the root dot left. And now in this case, it is none. So what we need to do is we need to pop out of this, pop this value out of the stack. So we are going to pop this out and we will, so in the else condition, we are going to um, say node equals dot pop. So the way the stack works is a um, leafful structure, which is the last in first out, which is exactly how we want it. So the last element there was nine. So we're going to put the nine here in our res. So we will append to res. So we'll just write res here. And then we are going to access the, that node's right. So this is the pop value, right? This is being held in this node variable. So we are going to point the root. So this is the trick. We're going to point the root to this node's right. So we're, we need to now navigate this third step, which is the right. So step one was left all the way, which we did. And then step two, um, was to encounter the value, right? And then we put that in our res. And then step three is what we're doing now, which is putting the root to node dot right. And this is the node that we just popped here. So nine. So again, this is none. So it's not going to go into this if statement here, um, right? So it's going to come back to this else statement. So, so far we have done all of nine and we are going to go back to three. So then the next thing that is going to be popped out of this is three. And when something is popped, we are going to put that in our res here. So three is here. And then what we need to do is access three, three's right. So we've accessed three's left, we have encountered for three, and we're going to access this subtree now, which is three's right. So here, 
we are um, again setting the root to threes right here which is um, all the way here at 20 so root equals no dot right so again here we need to do the three steps so left node right so now we are now we're evaluating this node right so we're up here so there is something in the root so this 20 will be placed in our um, stack here so just ignore these two because we've already processed them so we are going to put in 20 um, and then we are going to navigate to root equals root dot left so we are going to 20s left here so again we need to do the one two three steps here so we've currently processed the first step of 20 so here at 15 we are going to go to 15's left and that's going to return null so when something returns null that means we need to get that um, yeah so we went to 15 so 15 should have been here um, so when we are at null we are returning um, we are going into this else here and we are popping that value so we will put the 15 here right so this is the processing of the second step of the node right and then we're going to try and go to 15's right so we go to 15's right and there is a none here so when there is a none we're finished processing this and we are going to so we have popped 15 from here so currently there's only one item left in this stack here so when we are done processing this, we are back here in our step two, which is to register the node itself. So if we look at this, again, we have put a um, none as the root. So root equals node.write. So 15's right was none. So we're back here. And then when we're back here, we need to put that, we need to pop that node out as per this else. So node equals stack.pop, which only has one item currently, which is the 20. So that is going to be popped out here and then put in the res. And then we set the root to root node.write. So the node we just popped, which is 20, so we set it to that item's right, which is going to be here in 7. So when this is this is actioned, um, we will check if the root is not null, which is not. So then 7 is going to, so currently the stack doesn't have anything. I'll just draw a fresh one here so it's more clear to understand. So it only has seven now. And then again, we do the three steps here, one, two, three. So first we go to seven's left, and that is none, right? So when that is none, we are done the processing the first one, and then we're at step two, which is to process the node itself, pop out of the stack here. So node equals st.pop, and this is how we get the seven here. And we're not done yet because the part three is the um, node root equals node dot right. So we point the root to um, okay seven's right, and then that is none. So when that is none, uh, so we've already popped this out. So when that is none, the stack is empty. So we need to put all of this in a while loop to check if the stack is empty or not, and we also need to check if the root is um, there or not. So when these two conditions are met, then we go into the while loop. So currently the stack is empty and that should um, return our res, which is the last step. Awesome, so I'm back in Leak code and what I'm going to do is um, in a while loop, check if um, the stack is not none or um, the root is not none since these are the two variables we're using to navigate um, so either of them should be populated um, for the if and else statement to work in this loop so what i've done here is already have the res list that is set to empty and the stack um, list that's also set to um, uh, empty list so first of all i will make sure that if the node if the root is not none so if root i am going to go to um the left so i will put this value in the stack so we'll say stack dot append 
and put this value in. And then I will navigate to the left side of that root. So root equals root dot left. Okay, else I will pop from the stack. So we can call this node or temp node. So node equals stack dot pop. And what I'm going to do is save this node's value in the res. So this is how we're encountering for that step two. So I will say res.append is going to be node.val. And now the third step is to go to the right. So I will set root equals the node's right that we just popped. So node.right. Okay, so this is how we're maintaining that order of left node and right. And lastly, I will return um, the res here, which is collecting all the nodes values here. Okay, so let's give this a run. Okay, awesome, accept it and submit. Yay, success.